children today we will study about animal world animal animal world means not only animals that has four legs like dog cat cow tiger lion but it also include birds fish and insects children we will study one by one about all these animals let us see the picture of some of the animals let's see this is a picture of a lion then it's a picture of a snake then let's see who comes next it is a hen then it's cow and this one is the dog right children from the picture what did you notice here yes all animals that is whether it is a lion or a dog or a hen or a cow or a snake all are of different shapes and the sizes are also different right so from here what did you conclude we conclude that animals are of different shape and sizes children let us watch the picture of some animals eating food it's a picture of a crocodile giraffe monkey camel lion cat bird it's a parrot right children from this picture what did you notice yes we notice that the animals that different animals eat different types of food some are eating flesh of other animals like crocodile and lion some are eating leaves of plants like camel giraffe some are eating fruits like monkey parrot and cat is drinking milk so children from here what do we notice yes animals eat different kinds of food that is different animals eat different kinds of food when we all live in our homes right similarly animals also live in their homes now let us see the pictures of some animals children this is the shed of a cow cow lives in a shed right this is the den where lion lives and he is the home for a monkey then this is the home of hen and the name of the home is coop then children kennel is the home for dog so from here what do what did we notice yes we find out or we notice that different animals have different homes so children different animals have different homes animals land animals children land animals means animals that live on land so animals that live on land are called land animals children land animals can be divided into two categories that is domestic animals and wild animals domestic animals means animals that live in or around our home are called domestic animals and wild animals are the animals that live in the jungle or forest children first we will study about the domestic animals so children let us meet some of some of our domestic animals some of our domestic animals are cow buffalo sheep goat hen children dog cat they are also domestic animals 
डोमेस्टिक एनिमल्स लाइक काउ बफेलो डॉग कैट हेन आर केप्ट एज पेट चिल्ड्रेन वी कीप दीज एनिमल्स एज अवर पेट दीज एनिमल्स आर वेरी फ्रेंडली टूअर्स एंड दे ऑल्सो मेक अस फील हैप्पी सो these are our pet so domestic animals are also kept as pet domestic animals are helpful to us in many ways domestic animals are helpful to us in many ways for example domestic animals like cow buffalo sheep goat they give us milk so children we get milk from domestic animals like cow buffalo sheep and goat next children domestic animals like duck hen goose they give us eggs so children we get eggs from the domestic animals like duck hen and goose some of the domestic animals like cow fish pig and goat they give us meat we eat the meat of cow fish goat pig right so children these animals they give us meat again children some domestic animals like cow camel sheep goat they give us leather we use this leather to make goods like bags shoes belts hat jackets so children some of the domestic animals also give us leather and this leather are used to make leather items like bags shoes belts hats jackets etc domestic animals like camel is used in desert to carry people and goods from one place to another in the same in the same way bullock cart is used in villages to carry people and goods similarly horse donkeys they are also used in carrying people and goods so children domestic animals are used for riding or carrying things or goods from place to place children some domestic animals like dog they guard our house so children domestic animals also help us by guarding our house so domestic animals are used to guard our houses domestic animals like sheep gives us wool and children these wool are used to make woolen garments like sweater muffler gloves etc in the same way insects like silk worm they give us silk and these silks are used to make silk clothes so children from here we conclude that domestic animals help us in many different ways 